Blind Faith will return following these messages. Thursday, Cosby's a tap dancing fool like you've never seen before. On a different world, Whitley's new flame has Dwayne steaming. Then on Cheers. How many of us would like to sleep with Sam? Sam's a hit on the talk show circuit. And Grant has a bundle of joy for Tom and Carol Ann. The pain of birth actually prepares you for the agony of being a parent. Thursday. In today's busy world, there's not always time for 30 minutes of news. Now you have a choice. Wave 3 News Nightcast gives you everything you need in the first 10 minutes. If you want the lowest prices on groceries every single day, there's only one store to shop, Winn-Dixie. Get a low price on the best beef. WD brand U.S. Choice Bottom Round Roast, just $1.97 a pound. Look for this hot price on cool refreshment. Two-liter Coke or Diet Coke is only 88 cents. And stop by Winn-Dixie's Produce Department for Harvest Fresh Red or White Seedless Grapes, a low 88 cents a pound. Winn-Dixie, America's Supermarket. At Hardee's, we never forget. You can always have breakfast someplace else. So right now, get a mouth-watering biscuit and gravy platter for just 99 cents. Smiles are free. Hardee's introduces pancakes you'll flip over. Our new buttermilk pancakes are so light, so fluffy, they'll stack up real high with your whole family. Happy Valentine's Day. From all of us at Who's the Boss. Would you vote for or against the sale of furs? The question was put before the voters today in Aspen, Colorado. Tonight at 11 o'clock on Wave 3 News, we'll talk to Louisville Furriers about today's vote. I'm Don Schroeder. Also tonight, the top two college basketball teams in America play each other. Bob will have highlights. And weather radar this evening showing some rain up around Bloomington, Indiana. This is along a cold front, which will move south during the day tomorrow. Portions of the area will be 25 degrees cooler tomorrow. We'll have the forecast for you at 11. Starring Robert Urich, Joanna Kern, and Dennis Farina. Did you hear me tell this jury in opening statements that at or about the time of your wife's death, 